Woodwind Soloists II is a collection of four woodwind instruments recorded at the solo booth at Teldex Recording Studios in Berlin. It's the perfect companion to the Soloists I collection, offering instruments that cover also the lower registers. Once again, we handpicked exceptional players here to provide virtual instruments with as much character and expression as possible. Just like the instruments of the Soloists I collection, we designed these instruments to be flexible. They can take center stage or sound close and intimate depending on what you need. And because the soloists are quite dry, you have plenty of scope for getting creative with reverb. We've updated the collection to run in the sign player and taken the opportunity to tweak and improve a few details. So on sign, these solo woodwinds are better than ever. This is the solo bassoon straight out of the sign player. From now on, let me add a little bit of external reverb to make the sound more comfortable for this video. The instruments in this collection offer a couple of articulations. For melodic playing, the most important are the two long notes, the swell and the expressive. The swell starts soft, develops into a crescendo, and then goes quiet again at the end. The expressive has a stronger attack and goes into a decrescendo. To connect those single notes into fluid melodies, we get a couple of legato options. Per default, the two long notes are set up with an adaptive legato. When you're playing slowly or moderately, you get a nice slurred legato. And when you play faster, you'll automatically get much faster legato transitions. If you also switch appropriately between the two different long note types, you already have a powerful setup to perform convincing phrases. For the bassoon, bass flute, and bass oboe, we also have re-tongue transitions. This is actually non-legato playing, as the notes are interrupted by the tongue re-attacking the next note. Having those transitions enable you to make cleaner and more realistic phrases. Woodwind players usually do not slur all the way through a melody, unless it's for special effect or intended by the composer. Let's see how our phrases can benefit from those re-tongue transitions. First, let's listen to them on their own by activating legato for the other two sustains patches and selecting the re-tongue transitions here. That way we keep the slurred ones and can later switch on the fly. Okay, let's say we play a melody without thinking too much about phrasing. We select the standard legato patch and have a go. The melody is quite nice, and the expressive long notes do their job. But let's see if we can get a better phrasing by introducing some re-tongue transitions. Much better, isn't it? Now, our phrase is quite long. Bassoon players can play for quite a long time within one breath and can even use circular breathing if necessary, but we should still think about having a few bigger rests here and there. Let the musicians and your music breathe.
Before we move on to the other instruments, let's also check out the other articulations of the bassoon. The portato is a nice short note that you can also play with legato transitions. Very useful if you play faster and shorter notes, and especially helpful if you need a nicely phrased short final note. You also heard the staccato here together with portato. This is quite useful for more lighthearted or quirky solo passages, or even bass lines, which is one of the main functions of the bassoon. That's basically all you need to know about the features of the Berlin Woodwind Soloist II. Well, let's move on by listening to the other instruments. The bass flute is tuned one octave lower than the standard soprano C flute. It has a wonderfully warm and airy sound. The bass oboe is also tuned exactly one octave lower than the regular oboe. It's a rather unusual instrument, but has a unique sound that's somehow rather mystical and sinister. This makes it very different to a bassoon, for example, although the two instruments are actually quite close in register and timber. But the bass oboe can also be very quirky and even emotional. We think this instrument will inspire a lot of new ideas. Finally, we have the bass clarinet, the lower range addition to the regular B-flat and A clarinets. It's been a standard member of the orchestra since the late Romantic period. It has a huge range, both tonally and in terms of character. Appropriately for this collection, we focused on its solo abilities, letting it shine out for expressive passages. So that's the end of our tour of Berlin Woodwind Soloist 2. If you haven't already, be sure to check out Berlin Woodwind Soloist 1.